everyone this is the trader and investor coming to you on uh, friday august 6th this is our last trading day of the week first trading day in august 2021 so let's talk about spies and uh, spies yesterday and the day before very small range very small range but in the last 30 minutes uh, of trading yesterday they pushed up they really pushed up about a dollar and change and uh queues uh they pushed up but not as much as spies right so not that significant because they just stayed within the boundaries of the day iwm yesterday started out strong had a good entry and i did mention i missed this entry but this was a valid entry and if you had taken this entry as a swing i hope you had exited when we open with a gap up because this was a, a significant move up from this pullback entry to the 15 minute range high of tuesday when that gave you that entry around the 221 and 70 area and we opened 223.50 close to two dollar move that was a pretty nice move so hopefully you caught that so uh coming back to the spies had a nice push up we gapped up and we continued up and now because we're in all time high territory i'm looking for 15 minute range break to participate in this market as soon as it breaks you can participate in this market and so so far we broke up and then uh you know didn't manage to continue that momentum up and now we're just playing around near the open but the cautionary sign is iwm iwm my leading indicator had a nice gap up yesterday was nice move all day nice gap up uh kept pushing up it uh went above last week's high after it went above last week's high it did not manage to continue that uh, momentum it was an area of potential manipulation uh, you see a break of uh, any range you get in and then you know because of manipulation you get stopped out so this is what we're seeing what we would have liked to see is once price broke here retested this uh, high of last week and continued that push up because we are not seeing that because we're seeing weakness in iwm which is my leading indicator as to what the broader markets will tend to do I am not very confident that uh, spies are going to push very significantly above today's 15 minute range high. I, you know, I want to take that trade, but I want to see when uh, price gives me that opportunity. If IWM had decided, okay, all I want to do is I want to, uh, I want to close this gap. Now that I've closed this gap, I'm going to resume. This is what I want to see. For me to have confidence that spies are going to continue to push up higher and then queues there's the weakest yesterday strong three days and then today just when i say weakest it's just taking a breather it's just a small inside day right as you all know i don't like to trade inside days and so queues an inside day just taking a small breather and uh, also this gap down it opened as a gap down but it immediately filled it so there's no gap here so we're just uh, playing around and within this inside day uh, diamonds are playing the same way as spies pushed up pushed up the last half hour of yesterday's trading today pushed above last week's high this green uh, square lines that you see is last week's high pushed above it and came back down to test it this is what i was referring to uh, iwm pushed up tested this is what we're doing to continue the momentum up so if diamonds are able to do that uh, following an iwm uh, recovery here then it is easy to participate in the spies and diamonds as well the other thing we will take a look at is oscillators my oscillator is making 
lower highs while price is making higher highs so this is again another sign of weakness it doesn't mean uh, we're going to get a pullback right away today it doesn't mean we're going to get a deep pullback all it says is momentarily i want to go down how far down the charts will tell us because we have headwind here we have headwind here 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 uh, here 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 you get the picture so we have all this headwind that we need to look at as we wait for this pullback for the oscillator to admit, to get out of its misalignment meaning we have a divergence we want convergence we have we want both our oscillators and our price to go in tandem to go in the same direction so we are not seeing that so as a result uh, i'm a little bit more cautious today so this is what i'm seeing from the markets this is how i'm preparing to trade the markets uh, and uh, you know iwm being my leading indicator it has not really told me i want to get out of this uh, downside pressure yet still has some downside pressure air of liquidity is manipulated anyone who went long is manipulated out anyone who went short so far has not been manipulated out so if uh, if they get pushed out this way that's where that position gets manipulated out for those who haven't taken a quick profit get get up here as it's making its way back down you take a position and you take out that position quickly i don't know how uh, that is done if i look at a two minute uh, chart uh, maybe there were some signs when you started to uh, have weakness like we have one engulfing bar that engulfs the previous two bars take this short position and get out as soon as you stall down here something like that but like i always say i don't scalp so i don't want to get into uh, the habit of showing you hey here's what you can do because i don't do that and i don't want to mislead you so spies looking at spies again uh playing within the 15 minute range of today because iwm is still playing below that 15 minute range not that significantly below i mean it's still a positive day it's got up from here pushed up and now coming back that gap is closed and we're playing around here so once we see a significant turn of direction then we can participate in spies very easily that's what i'm seeing hopefully you make some green today in the last trading day of the week Take care, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.